let's say we want to add two vectors a and b to produce a new vector c. Okay, so I'm going to modify a little bit my code here. Okay, and I have C an array of 12, which is empty. Okay, and I decide that C is A plus B at the respective index, right? And I can write something like, I can output something like this. Okay. And if I run it, okay, perfect. Let's do the exact same thing in Skate Suite. Actually, it's even easier than the previous one. But let's keep it. Um, let's call it just plus. It has two inputs. A, let's call that rather scalar A, scalar B, scalar C. Okay, all those are integers okay and here rather than doing so this b now becomes an input and I have an output c here that is an array of 12 integers okay. so i remove this part and I'm going to use this plus operator, right? So I can use the same map iterator. Okay, that's going to be again a pointwise application of this operator of every element of these two arrays. Okay. So we see that these two arrays, oh, they should be of the same size. So now they are of the same size. This should have size 12. And here I need to do my implementation. It's just a plus between Okay, so if I check it, it's good. And I can simulate it and rebuild. Okay, so let's take some values. So you see that 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 3 is 7, 5 plus 3 is 8. So basically, really this, and we see it here, applies this plus operator 10 times, and every time it takes its two inputs. So if here I'm on the first index, so index 0, first element it takes one and one from here and adds them and produces the two that we see here on this iteration it takes two plus two and produces four that's exactly what we see here three plus three three plus three and produces six six okay five plus three is eight etc. Okay, so the number of inputs of the map iterator is free. Okay, the number of outputs also, by the way, but they need to all have exactly the same size. And we'll see that immediately if B is slightly smaller, 
just an array of 10 integers. If I check this, there is an error. I cannot generate the code, I cannot simulate. Okay, so this needs to be exactly of the same size. And it's in this map iterator, I can only see, I can only see uh, 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 values that have the same index. So let's add a little bit more of difficulty. Uh, I've just abstracted, so I took my plus one operator here and basically abstracted the interesting operation here into a function vec sum that takes two array of integers a and b and returns uh, c. Okay, so you see here the call and I can I can build it and execute it and okay we still have the same behavior. So let's add uh, something new. Let's say I want to also add uh, to each element a constant k, an integer k. So let's put it here in k and in c I would just add plus k and in my call here let's say I want to add um, minus 1. Okay, so if I save this and rebuild it and execute it, oh, obviously, here I need to introduce K. Okay, and so if I execute it, that's fine. Good. So let's try to do the same in Skate Suite. Okay, in this plus operator here, I will add an input scalar k, k, um, which is of type integer. Okay, and in this operator, I simply add a new input on my plus and add this color k here and here I can try to use minus one as an input. Okay, let's check. Well, obviously we have an error. What is the issue? Our expression, our input here is of type, uh, so a is an array of 12 integers, b is an array of 12 integers, and k is an integer. But this map iterator expects all its inputs to be arrays of something of size 12. And this here there is no array. So if I want to be able to pass it as a parameter here to this operator, I really need to build an array of 12 integers here. I can simply, in order to do that, I can simply type minus 1 hat 12, which is an array of composed of 12 minus 1s. Okay, and we see the editor that tells us that this is fine, this is an array of 12 integers, so if I do my check, it's good. Okay, I can simulate it and see the same result. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm too lazy for the rest. Okay, one plus five minus 1 is 5, 2 plus 6 minus 1 is 7, 3 plus 7 minus 1 is 9, etc, etc. Okay, good. It seems good, but if you are a C developer, you say, okay, here I'm creating an array of 12 minus 1s, but I no don't need it in my C code here. 
I just had one integer. So in memory, I'm going to have here an array of 12 integers. That's not good. I don't want this. Well, actually, this is seen by the code generator. And if I generate the code for this, this you see that this TMP here is minus one and there is no array creation here okay this is optimized by the code generator it recognizes the fact that on this map iterator okay one of its input is the same thing replicated 12 times and times right so it will not do the replication it can just take this value and propagate it directly into the map iterator so the map iterator we said it's a pointwise application of an operator of a, uh, a given index okay that means for example that if you're treating index 3 you cannot look at what is in the index 2 or in index 4. 